In addition to pattern face patterns, linear and circular patterns can now pattern features. You can select the features you want to pattern either from the feature list or from the graphics area and select a direction as you would normally. The pattern doesn't look different until you increase the number of instances and you can see how the pattern reacts. Every instance of the pattern is built like an individual feature, so end conditions like up to next and features like fillets update to reflect any changes in geometry. When we first introduced variables, there was some confusion over why we create them as features and why they have a specific order in the feature list. First, we'll reorder this variable to be for the extruded boss feature, then edit the extrude to set the second direction value to be equal to the variable called offset. Okay, now here's the trick. Create a second variable, give it the same name as the first one, and set its value to be equal to the first variable plus some increment. Then reorder it to before the extruded boss. Now edit the linear pattern feature and add the incremental variable to the pattern. Since each feature is reevaluated for each pattern instance, the variable will increase by the set increment each time. Now, how cool is that? You can use variables in feature patterns to create some weird and wonderful pattern effects, such as alternating pattern instances, patterns driven by trig functions, patterns changing in size, and patterns with increasing number of instances. Some of these patterns were created by including sketches in the pattern. This technique is not yet fully supported, so I've made this document public so you can see how these were made.